how to interact with Simulink models from MATLAB scripts. This is a question that I would like to answer in this video. But the first question is why do we need to do this when we have an easy and interactive way to create and edit Simulink models? We could possibly have a use case where we would want to automate the process of creating a model like in this example where we interpret the model description and automate the process of creating this model. In this video, we will learn how to create a Simulink model, add blocks to it, connect these blocks and simulate the model all using MATLAB commands. In this video, we will create this model that adds a sine wave and a pulse generator and displays the result on a scope. The first thing that we would need to do is create a new Simulink model and to do this we would use the new system command and here we would name our model as my model. We then open this model using the open system command and the name of our model goes as the argument. Now we have a Simulink model with the name my model which is ready to use. Let us add a sine wave here. The command that is used is add block with the source as the first argument and the destination as the second argument. Now we already know that the destination is my model and let's say we'll call the block as sign in my model. But how do we know the source name of the sign block? One of the ways to do this is opening the library browser, going to the block that you're interested in, which in our case is the sine wave block and just hover over it. And this would be the source name. So the command to add the sine wave to my model would look like this. And we see here that the sine wave block has been added to my model. Similarly, let's add a pulse generator, an add block and a scope. You can specify various block properties like we have specified position where we would want to place this block in the Simulink model. Now that we have all the blocks set, the next step is to connect these blocks. We can connect two blocks using the add line command. Let's first add a line between the sine wave and the add block. So this would be the command. We have this defined here because we would want to connect the first output port of sine wave to the first input port of add. Similarly, we'll connect the pulse generator to the second input port of the add block and the output of the add block to the scope. But the signal line that we have generated here does not look very nice. In which case we can use the auto routing option and set it to smart and our lines would look much better. And then we simulate our model using the sim command and verify the output from the scope using the open system command again. After executing the model, let's say we would want to change certain parameter of the block, maybe the time period of the pulse generator. In this case, we would first need to get the period parameter to see what exactly the value it has. And we would do this using the get parameter function. We have already highlighted the block. So in this case, we will use the get current block and get the period parameter of this block, which is right now 10. Now let's say we would want to set this period parameter of the pulse generator to be one. Similar to the get param function, we can also use a set parameter function to set this value. Similarly, let's set the pulse width of the pulse generator to 0.5. The documentation page of each block is the best place to know how the parameters that can be changed are named. We would now save this model using the save system command and rerun the simulation to review the results. Let's open the scope and we see that the changes in parameters have come into effect. We can also save all these commands which we have written into a MATLAB script and use it when we would want to create the model. So we were able to build a simple model and simulate it. And there's a lot more that you can do. You can possibly write a MATLAB script that creates a Simulink model like we showed at the start of the video. And to learn more, please follow the link in the description. Thank you.